What's going down, Molly Skyler fans? I have got a little bit different of a challenge today, and I'm excited, and I'm also very afraid, extremely afraid. So I had a bunch of people on my YouTube, and they were like, hey, we should do some spice challenges. And I'm like, ooh, I sometimes do those, but I don't really, but I can. And I was like, well, a couple people had brought up the team to insane challenge to Fuego. So Fuego box, I was like, I looked it up and I was like, oh gosh, that's a little pricey. And I was able to get a hold of Larry Axelband. And I was like, hey, you know, I got a couple people, a couple people who uh, are saying, hey, you wanna do this challenge? I'm sitting there like, ooh, would you like a spot? Would you like to sponsor me? And I was like, yes, he said yes. Seriously awesome, thank you, Larry. This box is, just the presentation of the box, that was pretty doggone awesome. Um, he also sent a little bit of extra box with a couple extra sauces fit right here. Seriously cool. Go to fuegospice.com and you can get a hold of a lot of this, this stuff here. Also, if you like to get a little bit of a discount, if you put in the code MOLLY10, give you a little bit of a break on anything you order if you use that code. So, MOLLY10, put it all in, get a little bit of money off and get some amazing hot sauce. Crazy. I. Ugh. So anyway, <laughs> 11 sauces. Um, I've got the mellow, the mild, the zesty, the medium, heating up, hot, damn hot, extra hot, explosive, evil, and balls of hell. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm a... Uh, I feel like I should leave them in the box for presentation, just so you can see them. Um, I don't know. Gosh, if heck it's, I don't want to like take them on the box, so the box is so doggone cool. But let's see if I can actually take this insert out. Actually, I can. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, but the whole box kind of comes apart here. So, yep, we're gonna we're gonna do it the other way around. So, basically, what I'm gonna do is I'll open one at a time. Uh, see how far I can get into this. I'm hoping I can get to the end. I'm really hoping I can get to the end. But if I can't, don't judge me because you know what? This is. I don't know. Uh, the box is already whatever. I do have a little bit of water. I don't know if I can. That would even be a smart thing to use at this point. But you know what? I'm gonna do. I'll take this out like this. See what we can do here. I feel like I kind of compromised the box. I, usually I'm smarter than this. Playing a little bit of Jenga here. Five. Here is six. Here is seven. Here is eight. Here is nine. And here is ten. Uh, Eleven is this thing right here. Bowels of hell for this one. It is a 100 pound reap, reaper tincture and it's actually labeled one of 945 so obviously this is a very small batch of whatever the heck this is eh the challenge is take yourself a spoonful of each hot sauce start with number one ending on number 11 number 11 challenge is three drops like i said i uh i think i'm gonna try to i don't know i don't I just, I don't know. Here, let me throw this chair around here. So I can maybe prop this up a little bit here. I'm not that technical, but like I said, we've got the box here. So, like I said, this is number 11. Let's see if I can get all the way into the end without whatever. You know what, I'm gonna come back over here. So, and I'll kind of go this way. I have got my Spoons. We got 11 spoons, but honestly, I'm not going to be trying 11 or three, a full whatever of the last one. Ugh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be so bad. Oh, once again, came to insane challenge. Get that on a hashtag. Fuego box. Oh my God. Fuegobox.com. Awesomeness. I'm afraid. Let's do this. Ugh, my gosh. All right, so number one, Jersey Barn Fire Hot Sauce, Indian Summer. 
This will be the mellow one. I'm making a mess already. So, you know, honestly, I'm gonna go get a paper towel here and make it a little bit of a mess. Because I don't wanna throw this everywhere. I do not expect zero tears out of this. I expect to be a pitiful pile on the floor before this is over. Alright, so. There you go. Number one. Oh, it's actually really good. It's sweet. It's not bad at all. So. Also gluten free, by the way. <laughs> Jersey Bar and Fire hot sauce. Not bad at all. And actually, you know what? I'll put a little separate bin over here because I will, will need this full of these spoons later and I don't want anybody else touching these because God forbid. Gosh forbid. Alright. Sweet Heat Gourmet. We have a roasted jalapeno hot sauce right there. This will be the mild. First one actually didn't have a whole lot of heat behind it, but uh, it was pretty good actually. Not bad at all. I have to figure out how to open this. There we go. Alright. It's green and it smells kind of like a salsa, I guess. guess. Alright. Once again, sweet heat gourmet. Here's your mellow. Here's your spoonful of. Uh, That's actually really good. That'd be good in a hot sauce or a salsa. All right, see what we got here. Not much of a burn, a little bit of an aftertaste. A lot of vinegar, that's awesome. Number three, handcrafted friendly fire hot sauce. It's got guava and habanero. Right there. That will be the zesty one. Actually, I can actually feel a little bit of burn on my lips from the last one. Obviously, it's not bad, but all right. Once again, friendly fire. All right. Trying to be ambidextrous here. Definitely a little bit more heat. That has a nice fruit flavor to it, actually. Um, I mean, I'd say probably about, I mean, it's, it's not hot, but it's creeping. Um, it has a nice flavor, very good. It'd be good. It would be good on wings. Um, no, not bad yet. Number four, habanero peach hot sauce. Sweet Heat Gourmet also. Right there. All right. This is gonna be the medium. All right. Like that, I'm not do this. Yeah, I'll get it on later. Anyway, once again, all right. We heat the habanero peach. Ooh, that's good. It has a nice peach flavor to it. A um, little bit of heat in the back of the throat. Not bad. Oh, that's tasty. That is really good. I like that a lot. Oh, I really like that one. Number five, heating up. Hot sauce. <laughs> Your everyday hot sauce. You've got Nougat, Tennessee. Right there, guys. We're right number five. Oh, that is dead. 
definitely good. I like that one. That is that is good. I don't want to say that one is really spicier, spicier, but I like the taste. The actual taste is a little bit more mellow. Um, I like a tomato saucy sauce, honestly. Um, it's kind of like more of where I'm at. Um, but yeah, that's delicious. Absolutely. This is Yeek. Cambodian American hot sauce. It's a habanero and palm. Don't know if that's all in the name. It's a C H R U K shruk. Shruk. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correct. It's supposedly pretty hot there. This would be your number six. This is going to be hot sauce. We'll see. Alright, I got a whole spoon there. Ah, drop, 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 ah. Yeah. Ooh. That one's got a bite to it. Ooh! That hits the tongue. Feeling a little bit of sweat going on here. Not, not bad. That is definitely doable. It is hot and it lingers. That is definitely good though. It is, I will definitely say that it is heating up. So <laughs> this is gonna be damn hot. This is Born to Hula Fuego Box Hot Sauce Guajillo Monster. Just the bottle alone. <laughs> uh, the bottle alone is slightly, this, this sometimes like darker and the redder or depending on how many chunks are in a hot sauce. That was, that's what actually kind of tips me over and makes me think that it might be a little bit hotter. We are definitely are getting hotter with the taste on all these. Um, yeah, we'll see what's going on with this. All right. Born to Hula. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we got a full spoon here. I feel like I, I, want, I don't want it to make a, I want you to be able to see that I got the full spoons there, right there. Uh, but now I'm spilling it everywhere because I'm not as coordinated as I possibly should be. And I really don't want to get this on the table because if we have people eating here tonight and they might have a chance to get, get that, I'm going to feel absolutely awful. But here's a full spoon. It's dripping. Clean that up. That's, it's warm, but it's taking a little while to hit. It's not, it's more on the top of my mouth, kind of like hitting in the back right now. <laughs> oh gosh, that is delicious though. I love it. It is actually really good. Not overly spicy for me. I mean, some people might not uh, be able to, I mean, I don't know. I, no. <laughs> it's good. I like it. Okay, this is number eight. Seafire Gourmet Scorpion Hot Sauce. Check that out right there. This is considered the extra hot. I don't know how extra hot that is, but we'll see. All right. It's orange and it looks like it has a bunch of chunkies in it. I got my spoon here. You can see the orange. Hey, there's orange. Now you can see that. Alright. That's a shame. Oof. Oh, gosh. That's horrible. Scorpion hot sauce. Oh, gosh. That is definitely damn hot. Or extra hot. Oh, gosh. That has some delicious flavor, though. Mm. I do feel myself starting to sweat. I just kind of afraid of the last three models. Uh, it's definitely starting to creep on me though. I will I will say that. Oh, number nine. This is the explosive sauce. It is called <laughs> Thunder Juice. 
High River sauce with thunder juices. Tequila infused hot sauce. Tip it out right there. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my gosh. I can smell the tequila in there. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. So, this is the explosive, obviously. We're gonna go for this. Get ourselves a little spoonful of that. It is dark brownish. Do you see that there? It's got a stinky smell. Hmm, stinky. But darn it, it should be delicious. All right. <laughs> That's some warm stuff. Ah, that definitely, that's more of the front of my tongue right now. I don't know, it's got a good flavor. It's delicious. I don't, I would actually like that in a cottage cheese. Mm. Okay, now that one's starting to kick in. It's going to the back of my throat, <coughs> top of my mouth. It has got a decent burn to it. Um, I'm gonna open this one right here. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Oof, that. Thank God for wine keys, huh? If I can use get it open. There we go. All right. Number 10. This one's called Evil. I honestly believe it at this point. <laughs> Let me get on my lips here. Oof, duh. Pineapple pepper sauce. Ooh. Burns and McCoy, right there. This one is your number 10. This is, I don't know. This is second to last in the chain. I've got my spoons. I've got these two left. I don't know. I do, I am feeling number nine pretty well. That's in my lips right now. It's in the back of my throat, it's in my head. We got this one right here, number 10. This is your evil sauce. It is definitely very orange. Um, you guys have been stays like pineapple, but it's not gonna. So. I like that all these bottles have no calories. <laughs> It is definitely warm. I actually held that one in my mouth for a little while just for craps and giggles there. Mm. It's not an awful burn. It is a pleasant burn. It's it did have good flavor. Um that is definitely hotter than nine. Delicious, extremely hot. I do have a fire in my mouth. I can feel it on my tongue. It is, it, it the burn goes all the way through. It is delicious, but like I said, mm, if it would have had like a little bit more pineapple taste, that would have been awesome. I like a sweet, I like a sweet sauce. But this is, this is definitely, this is gonna kick your butt. This is very hot. And then I got this last one here. I've got the 11. This is the bowels of hell. And so basically, once again, Fuego Spice Company made a small batch here. Um, 
This is 100 pound Reaper tincture. T I N C T U R E. Bottle one of. There we go. One of 945 there. So, this little tiny bottle right here, three drops is what the total challenge includes. This is supposed to be the absolute worst of, of the worst of what they got. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It looks, it's dark, it looks disgusting. It comes in a little dropper like this. And obviously I'm gonna put it on a spoon anyway because is a three drop challenge. So one, two, three. All right. Not much on there for three drops, is it? So we're gonna go with this. See how awful this is. So obviously, I don't know if this is gonna be completely worse than what all this is combined or what it's gonna do, but Bowels of Hell is just an awful name. But you know what? We'll see what happens. So here's my three drops. You see it here. I'm gonna turn the spoon over in my mouth. I will show you the spoon. We'll see. All right. Alrighty then. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's hot. It is hot. I will give you that. It is extremely hot. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe my tolerance for some of this stuff is a little bit worse or better than uh, a couple other people here and there. Um, I don't know. I thought all these sauces were delicious. I thought they were flipping phenomenal. Like I said, I I don't know. I thought they were great. Um, they were all spicy, except for the first couple few or whatever. They all had a great level of heat. They had good flavor. The Tame to Insane Challenge. The first one's very tame, the last ones are extremely insane, but like I said, I like spice. I think it's great. Um, if y'all want to give this a try, absolutely. Get on to Fuego. Go to FuegoBox.com. Order yourself up this. Use, this, use the code MOLLY10. Um, get yourself a little bit of a discount there and give it a try yourself. Like I said, I uh, maybe, like I said, we all do spice a little bit differently. Um, I can tolerate just a little bit more than some people. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm the greatest by any means. Gosh forbid, no, absolutely not. But I mean, I, I can tolerate my spice. If y'all would like to give it a try yourself, like I said, go out ahead. I'd like to see your reactions. Like I am very grateful. Thank you, Larry, for this amazing gift. I appreciate it. Your product is it's phenomenal. It is delicious. I would love to mix this in a lot of lean sauces here at the restaurant that I work at. Um, gosh wow it's delicious i appreciate everything get on board guys fuegobox.com get yourself some amazing sauces molly skyler mob and woman versus food clean up my plate because wasted food is rude i'm not gonna eat all this sauce and clean that up because i want to use it later awesomeness welcome back to skyler nation catch me all next time if y'all have anything else you would like me to throw down on the table and let the gauntlet go, let me know. I do take sponsorships. If you'd like to throw something my way, let me know in the link below. All right. Catch y'all next time, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all.